Hi guys! So today I am doing a story time video. I've seen a bunch of these on YouTube and I find them really entertaining and interesting. So I thought I'd share with you my experience of being stalked and maybe this would help you to learn something or at least it will entertain you. So let's get started. So uh, this happened during my sophomore year and the majority of my junior year in high school. I went to this public high school that was pretty close to my home and basically I just uh, commute through walking so I would get dropped off in the morning by my parents and then <clears throat> sorry whoa <clears throat> basically after school when I get off at 3 p.m. I would just walk home now uh, when I was a sophomore I wasn't really hanging out with my friends after school I would just go straight back home at like 3 or 3.30 basically I just didn't hang around I just go home right after so <clears throat> I would always walk home by myself around 3 or 3.30 p.m. and the distance between my old high school and my home I would say like two to three blocks but then I'd have to cross this uh, kind of like one of the main streets so it's kind of tricky but it's just like straight down and it's the route is not complicated at all and I live in a really safe neighborhood so you know my parents they didn't think that something like this would happen so basically this started during my sophomore year I was just walking home and then there was this guy in his truck and he was just you know driving by me and I saw him before and he would just smile at me and would say hey or hi or whatever which honestly like thinking back like that was pretty creepy from the beginning but I was kind of naive so I didn't think like oh like since this is such a safe neighborhood I didn't think that it would escalate to something more than just oh hey you know just a hello so I would just say hi back to be friendly and you know he would just drive by and I wouldn't really think about it so it kinda just kept happening I was just you know since I would just walk home at the same time every single day I would always see him and he would be driving the same truck and he would always smile at me this one time he honked at me to just to say hi because I was just walking and listening to my music which you know it's kind of weird but you know I would just say hi back so that happened for a while we would just say hi and he would just smile at me whenever he sees me walking but yeah, I wasn't really thinking of anything but one day he actually uh, pulled up to the sidewalk and then he was trying to start a conversation with me so basically he pulled up to the curb and then he asked for my name and of course like I'm not a dumbass so I told him that my name is Natalie or something I don't remember I think I told him that my name was Natalie so he was like, oh, that's a really pretty name, and you're really pretty, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. Like, <laughs> that's kind of creepy, but you okay. So, and then he introduced himself to me. Let's just call him Roger. It's not his real name, but I'm afraid that, yeah, someone's going to find out about this. Hopefully he's not going to watch this video. But, yeah, it's... Yeah, his, let's just call him Roger. So, I was just like, oh, okay, cool, nice to meet you, Roger. And then he's like, so, like, do you go to Burroughs? And I'm like, yeah, duh. <laughs> like, Burroughs is right there, and I always walk home, like, when school is out. So, yes, I go to Burroughs. Oh, my gosh, I shouldn't have said my school name. Okay, anyways. Yeah, and then he was like, okay cool like my son goes to this school too and 
then I was like, okay, cool, like, what's his name? And, uh, uh, let's just call him James. Yeah, let's just call him James. So he's like, yeah, his name is James, and he's like a year, he's like, you know, he, at the time he was a junior, so he was like a year older than me, and I was like, okay, cool. And then after that, he's like, oh, nice seeing you, be careful out there, and I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And then when I started my junior year, I was still walking home after school, but you know, I would just hang out with my friends more. So I would be walking home like four o'clock or sometimes five. So I would just not always be going home at three o'clock like I used to during my sophomore year. So one day I was just walking home at like four o'clock and he was like, oh, hey, Natalie. And I was like, what, who's Natalie? Cause I didn't remember that I told him that my name was something else. So I was like, looking at him like wait what and he was like you're natalie right and i'm like oh yeah hi roger and he was like where have you been i haven't seen you in weeks blah 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 and i was just like oh i've just been busy with school and then he was just trying to like make a conversation with me about school and stuff and he was like oh so you're like you're you're a junior now like how's school like how's how are your classes and I would just tell him just like small talks and I wasn't really telling him anything personal and I was just like, oh yeah, I gotta go, like, bye. And he's like, okay, well, I see you tomorrow, same time, right? And at that moment, I was just like, okay, this is really weird. Like, at this point, like, he's been stalking me, like, stalking me for like a year now. He's just been like talking to me randomly and so I told my parents about it of course I told them back then but it wasn't anything serious and now that he's kinda like telling me like oh see you tomorrow or like asking me where have I been and all that it was just really it was getting really serious so I told my parents about it and I asked them I begged them to buy me a car so that I could just drive to school and then drive home so that I won't get kidnapped by this guy but of course I wanted a car at the moment you know teenager so they consider that and you know I wasn't getting a car just yet so I was still walking home but then I kind of realized that this is getting dangerous even though like it's a really safe neighborhood and there's people around but it's like really quiet and it's not like people are always out like in front of their homes to like observe things and I was just thinking oh shit like this is kind of serious so I would just like change routes like every day I would just go on different streets and I would just like zigzagging and like go to the street and then go to the street and then go to the back and then cross and then all that crazy things just to not see him this one day and I was just like you know doing my thing zigzagging trying to get home going on different streets he followed me. I think he, I didn't even realize that he was following me because I was listening to my music and I wasn't looking around. But basically, I was walking from school and then there's a street that is like directly to my home or to my street. And I wasn't taking that because that was a street that I always saw him. So I was just turning left and I was going on a different street. And then someone honked at me and I looked back and I saw him and he was just like waving at me and I was just like oh hey like I was just shocked like I was having like a panic attack because I felt like he was gonna ask me questions and guess what he did he was like oh did you move or something like why are you taking this street and I was just like oh no I was just going to a friend's house and yeah, that's it. I was, I just was suddenly like, I was not thinking. I was just like panicking, like, oh, like, is he gonna kill me? Is he gonna drag me into his car? Is this the day that I'm dying? But no, I obviously I'm still alive. Thank God, like, thank you, Jesus. But yeah, he was just asking me questions, and then he was trying to ask me like how far my house was from like the street that we were 
And I was just, of course, I lied. I was like, oh, it's like two, two blocks down, three blocks down, which was a lie, of course. It was actually like a block down and all that. And he was like, oh, cool. Like, yeah, I live on that street too. Like, it's like two blocks down. Like, what's your house number? And I'm like, at that point, I just couldn't be so nice anymore. So I told him, oh, you know, I can't really tell you because I don't really know you. And he's like, oh yeah, right. And then he just kind of looked kind of sad. And he's like, well, I'll see you later. And then he left. He just drove off. And then there's that. And after that, yeah. So, you know, at the time, I didn't know that he was one of my friend's uh, dad. He was actually my classmate's dad from cooking class. So during my junior year, second semester, I took a cooking class and there was this guy uh, in my class, his name is James and you know there were so many James so I wasn't thinking oh this is probably like this stalker's son but no. So I would just talk to him, we were you know talking, we weren't really friends but he was my classmate and we definitely talked quite a bit. So. You know, I wasn't thinking, oh, this is the James that this creepy stalker was referring to his son. So I wasn't thinking of anything. I didn't know that he was the son of the creeper. So one day, as I was walking home alone again, uh, this guy, you know, Roger, the stalker, he pulled up to me again. And he was like, oh, hey, Bridget. And I was like, Shit. I saw him and then he called me by my real name and I was like, holy shit. I was just like, how did he find out about my name? Like, now he knows that I lied about my name. Like, is he gonna kill me now? I was having another panic attack when he called my real name. And I was like, oh, hey, Roger. And then I looked over at his car and, you know, at the passenger seat, I saw James my classmate and I was like oh so yeah I guess because he knows me I guess I don't know how like they came into a conversation and him telling his dad that my real name is Bridget or whatever and he I, I don't know and he was like hey you know this is James my son he told me that you guys have cooking class together blah 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 and I'm like oh yeah hi hi James like hi Roger yeah we have cooking class together it's really fun huh? like we cook a bunch of food and then he was just like oh yeah cool but you told me that your name was Natalie he just brought that up like straight up and his son was just sitting next to him and I was just super, like, I was just terrified. I was just standing there, you know, on the sidewalk and then they were in their truck right over here and they're just staring at me. And James just kind of looked at me like all weird. So he was like, you know, Roger was like, so you told me that your name was Natalie. But your name is Bridget, right? Like, James told me your name is Bridget. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, Natalie is my, uh, it's my middle name and I prefer to go by Natalie. I just lied, okay? I just, like, I just, that pro that was probably the best, like, excuse ever. I don't have a middle name, but I just told him that. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my middle name is Natalie and I prefer to go by that and he was like oh okay cool so like do you want me to call you Natalie or Bridget since like I've been calling you Natalie for the past year and I'm like yep you've been stalking me for a whole year and I was like oh yeah you can just call me Natalie Bridget doesn't matter and he's like okay Bridget Natalie you know at that point all the suspicion that I've had like I truly, truly was threatened by seeing him and I stopped talking to James and he was acting very awkward around me in class <clears throat> because I think he had a feeling that his dad was being weird because you know his dad was just talking to this 
teenage girl, which is his classmate, and there's his name thing and the awkward situation and all that. So James stopped talking to me and he was always giving me awkward looks and I wasn't talking to him or anything. I saw him a couple times after that encounter of like the fake name thing, but he was just acting really weird, like the stalker. He was acting really weird. Like he wouldn't really, sometimes he would just drive by and I, like I remember his truck, I remember his car so I know, oh that's the guy's car, like, you know, there's not a lot of cars like that. So I remember that it's his car, sometimes he would just drive by really slowly, like creeping up and then he would just like, just go by and not say anything and sometimes he would just wave at me. But I truly felt like he was plotting up like a scheme. <laughs> or like a plot to kidnap me or something. So after I got a car, uh, I didn't see him ever again, thank God. And uh, James graduated, so my senior year, I never saw James again and I never saw uh, his dad again. But recently, I actually went to get a breakfast burrito maybe a week or two weeks ago and I saw James at the place and he was giving me a really weird look uh, we weren't talking because I think it's it's kind of weird we're not really friends but yeah he gave me a pretty weird look so I don't know if he knew that his dad was stalking me for like a good year or a year and a half but you know it's it's pretty weird and I feel bad for him because he's kinda like my age and to know that your dad is stalking a young girl who went to the same high school as you is pretty deteriorating 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 I can't say that word but yeah it's just messed up so basically that's how it ended uh, not much happen besides just me getting panic attacks and all that but you know what I truly believe that he was stalking me and he wasn't just being friendly okay that was just overly friendly and it's just really creepy to you know to just be follow sometimes like they were days that he legit like follow me as I told you and you know being like a girl yes like you do get compliments from random people that you meet on the streets but like this was just really weird because I would just keep seeing him and he would just keep complimenting me complimenting my outfit and all the questions that he asked me was very personal like, he was just asking me about my dad, my mom, my school, like, if I had a boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, dude, like, you realize that we're strangers and I could just be calling the police? Hey, guys. So my camera actually died. And I don't remember what I was saying. So, I'm just gonna end the video here. Uh, I hope the story time kind of taught you something or it entertain you uh, I guess lesson learned don't talk to stranger doesn't even matter how friendly they seem just do not talk to strangers male female young old I mean you could be nice but basically just don't talk to strangers it just it's easier that way but also don't be rude to them because you never know if they're gonna come back and kill you. Uh, I don't regret lying about my name because if I wasn't really his son's classmate, then he would never, then he would never find out that my real name is Bridget. So I mean, if you have to lie about your name, just just lie about your name. At the time, I was actually thinking of getting a pepper spray, but I didn't because we couldn't get one for some reason but yeah if you are a girl and you're in high school and you're walking home be very careful uh, have a pepper spray if you could get a hand on one don't talk to strangers lie about your real name if you can 
uh, you know, it's okay to be nice, but don't be overly friendly. Uh, I think I was being too nice, honestly, and I was so naive. Like, if it was me, like, at this age, I would be like, hell no, don't talk to me, goodbye. But yeah, so I hope this story time taught you something and it entertained you and it made you laugh or I don't know. But yeah, that was my story of being stalked by my friends, my friend's dad. And I really hope that he's not gonna see this video. I hope neither Roger or James, fake names, that they're gonna see this video. Uh, so I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks again for watching my video. Uh, I think my next video is actually gonna be beauty related. I'm trying to film a skincare routine, but haven't really come up with a solid skincare that I use yet, so I'm just gonna wait on that. But yeah, I'm trying to come up with some fall makeup videos and all that, so please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you found out about me somehow, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. That's it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!